All right, guys, and thanks for joining us here on Gavin's Good News Vlog. It's a pleasure to be with you today. If you're new here, this show is all about the singing of the praises of positivity in the world. We come at you twice a week, Sunday and Monday. So a big thanks for being with us. Let's jump right into it. Firstly, the translators who served alongside British troops in Afghanistan have finally won the legal right to live in Britain. After years of uncertainty, 50 interpreters who were crucial to the functioning of the armed forces out in war zones will be given visas. So far, several hundred former translators have started new lives here, but the current policy had also excluded those who worked with British troops during some of the worst fighting in Helmand in the years before 2012. Those deemed eligible to come will be granted a five-year visa with the application fee, which costs more than £2,000 waived. Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson deserves plenty of credit here. It means several interpreters and their families will get the homes they deserve instead of being left to fend for themselves against the Taliban. Now, it's fair to say the chef, restauranteur and TV presenter Anthony Bourdain was a visionary. Bourdain helped many people over the years before committing suicide in his hotel room. One of those was New York restaurant owner Jason Wang, who donated a full day's profits to charity in memory and thanks for what Bourdain did for him. He credits Bourdain's intervention to help turn his fortunes around as a restaurateur, so now over $60,000 will be donated to the National Suicide Hotline. A 99-year-old woman has come to the rescue of orphans who had their lives devastated by Hurricane Maria. It's an amazing gesture from someone who's seen so much of life. Martha Heft, who lives in Florida, has put her expert sewing skills to fantastic use for kids in need in Puerto Rico. The hurricane destroyed the island and these kids have practically nothing, but now, thanks to the generosity of Martha, 60 colourful dresses have been delivered to an orphanage by her granddaughter. The dresses are made out of donated patterned pillowcases and they made their way to the orphanage in Aguadilla, which houses children who are up to 10 years old. As long as God grants me life and health, I'm happy to do it. I just wish I had a little more speed, but I enjoy it. When I was five years old, I started to sew on my mother's uh, Damascus treadle sewing machine. And from then on, and in high school, I took home ec because I thought that was the easiest way to get A's. Now, The Rock is just the epitome of cool, isn't he? The movie star has shared a picture on Instagram feeding his partner, Lauren, breakfast while she was breastfeeding their newborn daughter. And that's led to an outpouring of praise from other parents around the world who are totally empathising with the situation, saying it was teamwork at its finest. Dwayne Johnson was seen spoon feeding Lauren while she was tending to two year old Tiana. One mother wrote, this is a stunning photo capturing a moment that will be cherished forever. Another thing I should add, apparently The Rock is 46 years old. If I can look half that good when I'm 46, then all will be a success. And new ultra cute photos have come out showing England's star striker Harry Kane as an 11-year-old meeting David Beckham alongside his future wife. Now, how crazy is this? Kane and Kate Goodland were pictured with Bex at Beckham's Soccer Academy in South East London in 2005. They started dating seven years later and have since got engaged after having daughter Ivy. The couple became friends at primary school and this is what's touching. Kane says he's lucky he's got a childhood sweetheart as meeting someone now would be difficult to tell their intentions. Just a shame that Kane plays for Spurs though, hey, being an Arsenal fan. Uh, that's it for this edition of the show. Let me know what you think of the stories. Is it about time that we gave foreign interpreters the right to stay in the UK? And is The Rock the ultimate man on the planet? I want to know. Hit me up in the comments below. Hit the like button and the subscribe button as well. This has been Gavin's Good News Vlog. Until next time, have a top day and big love.